Have you ever thought about how the world handled trade disputes? In the 1940s, an international consensus called the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade was formed to reduce harmful trade barriers that arose during the Great Depression that were a major cause of World War II. The GATT was later replaced by the World Trade Organization, WTO, the only global organization that creates rules of trade among its member nations. Let's examine how the GATT evolved into the WTO and the differences between the two entities. As global trade increased in the 1980s, so did trading issues among nations. It was clear that GATT could not support the influx of new trading challenges. After years of unsuccessful negotiation rounds, the largest round of 117 countries finally took place in Uruguay. This was known as the Uruguay Round, which was significant for the birth of the WTO. Through the WTO, trade barriers were reduced and more trade rules were established. The WTO is not just an extension and successor of the GATT, rather it's an entirely separate entity. The GATT was a multilateral treaty created on an ad hoc basis. The participating nations were contracting parties. The WTO, on the other hand, is a permanent institution made up of member nations. Another difference is that the rules of GATT applied to trade in tangible goods. The rules of the WTO do too, but also deal with services and intellectual property. The WTO dispute settlement system is also considered much faster and more effective than the GATT system. How does the World Trade Organization promote international trade? Members of the trading nations negotiate through WTO agreements or contracts that address the legal framework for conducting global business. These contracts would help ensure that trade runs as smoothly and fairly as possible. As a result, consumers benefit from cheaper prices, as well as a diverse supply of goods. Producers benefit from new markets and employment opportunities. Historically, both have been successful at impacting the global economic community by facilitating smoother trade and creating a fair avenue for handling disputes regarding trade issues.